Japerm, how dare you criticize the belt method after I invented it for a long time, waiting for a good time to start a tutorial, which is right now. So, you need a scrambled 3x3. This is the Yulong V2M, if you think you like the sound and you like it. So, obviously, you start off with a belt, which is what Japerm calls the belt. I'll put the JPerm video about the belt method in the description. So this is what JPerm calls the belt. I call it the middle layer because for square one, you have this. This is the middle layer, and that corresponds to that. So once you do that, you do OLL. But as you can see, this this is not a paint case because when you do it, it doesn't work. I just did a bottom soon. You have to orient both white and yellow, the corners, not not the edges. The edges don't matter yet, but the corners. So once you have parity, you put them like this, and I do U, and then R prime U two R D prime R prime U two R. Wait, actually, I messed up because. The alg is actually, you do it like this, and then you do R prime U2, R, D, R prime U2, R, and then maybe D prime. If you want to, but it doesn't matter. Then, you just get these um, corners on their correct layer. So, no, it's the correct layer due to the center. Now I recommend learning CFOP or something, or beginner's method. So as you can see, we have the top layer, but bottom layer isn't done. So, if you know um, square one method, if you know how to solve this cube, which is a square one, these are the corners, edges, then you should probably use the algorithms there, with this being the slice move, and then UD being the three it gives three. Um, yeah. And then I just do M prime U two M. And for the back you can also you can also insert into the back. Then just line it up. And then as you can see we have this case. I usually do that and then this case. So to do this case you do M prime U M U M prime U M U M prime U M U, and in this case we got no. We did we had a PLL skip because we did the corners, and even if we didn't have a skip, we'd have like an H perm U perm or Z perm. So let's do this again. With this method, you only have one parity, unlike the up uh, the belt method, which has three parities. This parity, this one has only one parity. I think my method can be improved. If you would like to improve it, then I guess say so in the description. So, making our belt. Have our belt. And then this one, we have parity again. But this time it's facing the front instead of the right. So we can do a bottom zoom. Bottom lefty zoom. And then. For this one, you do U, R prime, D prime, R2, U2, R2, D, R. Probably not the most intuitive way to do it, but it's short alg. So, I, so we, I usually just pair up two corners, and then boot, and just like try to do that, and we just happen to get the other corners correct. And we could just insert in the back instead of the front and doing a D2. If we get that, we could do this. And I predict that it will be a U perm. And, and yeah. Pretty much my method. Just need to learn to look OLL algorithms. And you need to know some square one. 
I guess. It's not required, but yeah. This time we didn't have parody. And look, we can put it in the back. Um Oh shoot, I forgot that we had this. And then now we have I just do a J perm. If it's on the top, bottom, I just rotate. Power U perm. It's also recommended so you know how to do U perms from the back and the front. So like if you have it in the front, you can just do U perm and and this one and use the M M U algs because you're gonna be doing the edges like this and it would be an easier transition. It's really fun method. Do you have any like recommendations to like improve? Like one look cases, I guess. Do some description or comment section. I mean, I guess I'm slow, but who cares? Bottom. Wait, what did I just do that halted my progress? Okay. That means that you have to do that. No. Back. Yeah. I'm not that fast. I bet you could probably be faster than me if you know more algorithms. I guess that's it for today's tutorial. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.